All right, guys, we're doing Just to Give Me a Reason by Pink today. I apologize for this whiteboard. This is the one uh, that won't fit behind the keys like I usually like to have it. So it's maybe a little bit smaller, but uh, hopefully you can still see the writing. So let's get to learning it. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. This is another, I guess, competition video with uh, the guy who copies my lessons on YouTube. I'm just kind of competing back there. Uh, this is not one of the lessons that he copied from me. It's one that he's taught, but I did not copy his imitation of my whiteboard. I've just, you know, did the whole lesson myself, did my own work. So this is uh, my lesson for the song. And I might go kind of fast here. I, got, I did 10... Ten uh, scored out ten uh, lessons for today, so I'm going to get them all done in one sitting here. So here we go: B, E, G on the right hand, and then just the E, Bob, Bob, and then we're going to do B, E, G again. And then we're going to go to A, D, F sharp. And then we're going to go to A, C sharp, E, and then up to A. Then the rhythm is one and two and three four. On the left hand, I'm just going to have an E. And then E again, D, and then C sharp. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Uh, the fingering, I'm using one, three, five here, and then one, two, four, one, two, three there. But it's just one and two and three, four. Just make sure you clear the pedal on each chord change. And then A, D, F sharp together with D in the left hand. One, two, and then B, D, G. And the left hand will have a B. You can do an octave B if you want. So it's ba, ba. let's put the two boxes together. All right, then we're going to go to E, G, C on the right hand with one, two, five. Left hand on a C octave, two counts. One, two. Then we're going to go D, G, B with one, two, four. Left hand on the B octave, two counts on that one. We're going to do two counts on C, E, A, an A minor chord with left hand on an A octave. One, two, three, and four, E, and bum. Eighth notes and then two sixteenths and then an eighth. Eighth. So right here it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four in. So there we have it. Let's do the whole intro like we have it here. starts with a singing starts and it's and so forth so let's get that learned D G and B left hand on a G octave then we're going to play D G and B again and it's in, and it's one and two and three and four and bum, bum. that little bitty G A B that you see there we're not going to do that yet we'll do it we'll do it later we're just going to go E, G, C, C up on the left hand. So I did fingers 1, 2, 4 there, and then I'm going to 1, 2, 5. Here I'm going to do E, G, B, and left hand on an E, and then just a G after that. So Alright, so let's do this measure. Or, I'm sorry. And uh, then we're going to do G, C, E. See, I'll the left hand. Then we do it again. And then G, B. And then we're going to do G, B, D together with a G, I'll the left hand. Bum, bum, bum. So those are, you know, da, da, da. So let's do these two boxes together. And go. And then we're going to go back. And uh, play dot to dot. So we go back here. Dun, 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 dun. Now this time we are going to do the G A B G A B. All right. So see, it just essentially repeats this two times. And the second time you put that little. Bah, 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 bah. And then 
we get to the chorus, and then the chorus is just the intro pretty much. But we're going to add some things. We're going to do the, the chorus right here. And then we have that GD thing. So what I've done here uh, is I have a dot to dot. And that's telling us, uh, right here when I put dot to dot, that we're going to play from here to here. And then we're going to put the GD in after it. So... dot to dot again so there it is and really when you play those other times I like to put a G there too that's what what she's saying so you can mark a G in there if you want for this chorus part so so that second time we're gonna do the G up high that's why I have an up arrow there like that so the first time it's low off the pedal, kind of separate it, then the second time, okay, so feel free to put a, a G in there, because that's what, da 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 da, but just on the intro, that's, I just hear the E there, not a G on top of it, now, after that, you're going to do the dot to dot one more time, the third time, and then we're going to just, just do chords, So these chords are one, two, one, two, one, two on these. Two counts each. B, D, G, left hand B octave. Then E, G, C with the C octave, two counts. And then D, G, B with B octave, two counts. Boom. That's going to be G, A, and D together. Left hand on a D octave. And then a G, and then F sharp, A, D with a D octave. So we go... So that's what we do for the chorus. We do the dot to dot and then go ba ba. Then we do the dot to dot again, up high, and then the dot to dot again. And then one, two, three, two, two, one, ba -da. Now we get to the chorus, which is da 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 uh, D, G, B in the right, left hand on a G octave, just kind of vamp on that chord for four counts. Okay. Then we're going to go D, F sharp, A, and then left hand, F sharp octave, again for four counts. Now I have a C in parenthesis because she sings a C natural when she goes, ba, 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 ba. the instruments are just doing a D, but she sings a C natural which would change that chord into a D dominant 7th chord instead of just a D chord in 1st inversion. Instead of a 1st a, a inversion D chord, it makes it a 7th there. And you can put it in the accompaniment if you want to. I'll leave that up to you. You may not like that. You may just want to play the D. Alright, so that's up to you. Then we have B, E, G, left hand on an E octave. Two counts. One, two, and then we're gonna go ba 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 ba. And the da 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 part is B E G, and then D and F sharp together, and then just a single E. You can put a C with there if you want to. And then B D F sharp. So ba 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 ba. Left hand goes da 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 da. So okay. So we start here. One, two. I'm just putting the melody in there so that it works for the accompaniment. And that's you know kind of where I come in handy because I've played a lot of music, um, accompanied a lot of people, played in a lot of different situations. And this, you know, combining, putting the melody in there once in a while kind of helps the solo piano idea out a little bit. Okay, so that's why I put this in here. D, D, D. Then we're going to do that D again with an F sharp and an A and a C with one, two, three, five. And then B, A. So if I start right here, it's one, two, la, 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 la. Now I have a repeat sign because we're going to go back and play the chorus again. So we play the chorus again, and then we're just going to do that, B, D, G. 
and you hold that and you love it. the verse and the uh, the guy sings his part all right the next thing to look at is at two minutes and 30 seconds into it <clears throat> okay uh, two minutes and 30 seconds we're going to do a dot to dot to start with this is kind of what we what you'd call a bridge and <laughs> So it takes from what we've already learned. See this dot to this dot? You're going to play that again. That's where the bridge starts at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And then you're going to go. And that is A, B, C in the left. Right hand's going to do E, D, and F sharp together. And then C, E, G. You're going to count to 3 after you play that. you play B, D, G and B octave in the left hand. And then you're going to play A, C, E and A minor chord. A octave in the left hand. Four counts. One, two, three, four. One. And the last one over there is F sharp, A, D, D octave in the left hand. So the whole bridge goes one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. So that is the song. If you want to do the melody here, it's just B, B, G, G, D, D, B, B, A, A, F sharp, F sharp, C, A, A, G, and then I kind of have the melody in there already. So you'd have... Alright, so that's something fun to play with. So there's a, a free lesson for you. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like these these lessons, it really helps us YouTubers out. If all you guys who watch the lessons will uh, help us out back by subscribing and commenting and liking. Thank you.